Hello, gorgeous people, and welcome to another TV Central One on One podcast. I'm Aaron Ryan. This is episode 62, 2023. Last night, The Voice crowned its 2023 winner. After that emotionally charged and what can only be described as a stunning performance of the Celine Dion classic All By Myself and the new single Nobody, mum to the very proud and oh-so-gorgeous kids are Archie and Quinn, Taryn Stokes from Melbourne was victorious. She is back at TV Central for another podcast. Taryn, welcome back and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for having me back, Aaron. It's good to be here. All right. Well, without taking anything away from your strong performance, you were in a very, very talented uh, final four with Ezra, Charlie and Ethan. Yes. Although I could give you so many reasons on why you won, and I know it's hard to be self-reflective, but why do you think the Australian public backed you to be the winner? Oh, my goodness. That's that's a hard thing to ask because I don't, I don't know. I just feel like um, people seemed to connect with me, I think, I don't know if it was just being a mum and, um, you know, maybe being later in my life. I don't actually know, but I just feel like I was just being like everyone was, just being myself and um, being really honest with where I'm at in life and what, you know, how I feel. So I think people just must have connected with that and um, hopefully they enjoyed my singing and what I did. They definitely did. Um, did you feel a sense of uh, responsibility for that representation for people that might think age and motherhood is a barrier? I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are some mothers out there that thought their dreams might be over when having kids. You proved them all wrong and instilled a sense of hope. Were you ever sort of conscious of that throughout the journey? Look, I think in my life I've always loved to um, inspire other people, not not saying that I feel like I've got it all together. I think the way that I've inspired people is just by saying, hey, I'm in the same boat too, let's just encourage each other. But I feel like, yeah, I think I love inspiring people So, um, and I love encouraging other people. Um, so I think that is one thing that I'm hoping and to happen and hoping that that happens like going ahead that people know that they can just – they can just step out into their dreams. If they're mums, um, you know, it's a sacrifice. It's a, it's hard work being a mum. So um, it's it's important as a mum as well to look after yourself. And um, the more that you look after yourself, the more that you, I feel like I'm a whole mum and then I can give more to my kids. So, um, yeah, it's not selfish to do things for yourself as well. And that took me a while to realise that. Mm. So, um, yeah, hopefully that encourages other mums and other people as well. Look, we obviously don't know what goes on behind the scenes. From, from, from what I've seen and, and heard from a bit of backstage information, there was not a huge amount of rivalry uh, between the four of you, was there? It seemed to be a really supportive group. Yes, honestly, um, even from when we first I st- first started to be in the blind auditions, everyone behind the scenes, all the other contestants were just really wonderful and I think it maybe surprised all of us that we were... Um, you know, so encouraging and that we actually had each other's backs. I think it was amazing to have that. And you're in an experience that um, no one else is really experiencing. So you've got that bond for life. And so the top four, um, the other three contestants were incredible, are incredible. And I feel like we're just going to have like a lifetime, um, lifelong friendship, I guess. And um, they were all like what they did last night um, in the grand finale was incredible and I'm really, really proud of them. So, yeah, it was all positive behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, as I said, like all four of you are super talented, so there probably didn't seem to be an obvious winner throughout the whole series. I think it would have come down to the performances in the grand finale um, for the last-minute final deciders in the public. I think mm-hmm. you certainly peaked with uh, All By Myself and your duet with Rita with the Tina Turner classic Simply the Best. Um, and it was done so well. Do you feel um, you were really able to shine at the right time for the finale? I I felt very excited about the finale. I feel like, yeah, the songs were great. I also felt like I, by then I had nothing to lose. We kind of all felt like we won because um, th- usually with all the other rounds, you you know, I could be going home tomorrow and it's that kind of like I've got to do my best and there's a lot of competition in it. And it's funny that this was obviously the highest level of competition, but um, we all felt less stressed about it. So I think I mm. um, gave my best because I didn't feel like I was under much pressure. I just thought, you know what, this is it. 
I'm going to do a duet with Rita. So I'm going to enjoy this. Like, when does that happen? So I think um, I really enjoyed it, which kind of helped me relax, which helped me give, um, you know, my best perform performances. Um, and yeah, like, when do you get the chance to do that? So yeah, and obviously, they chose great songs. I'm really blessed with those songs. So it all went well. Well, you did do Tina Turner's uh, Simply the Bears. Uh, interesting, uh, Tina Turner obviously had an earlier career when she was young, but the, the Tina, as we know, as the massive solo uh, success, began in around 1983 when she was 44. Mm -hmm. Strong, proud mum too, um, ready to kick mm -hmm. off her career in her 40s. It mm -hmm. just felt like Tina Turner was not a mistake being in there for the finale through Simply the Best. Uh, was that intentional or did I overthink that? <laughs> Well, it's funny you say that because I do remember Rita. Um, what, there was one time when I was just like, I don't know what I said to her, but something like, you know, am I too old for this kind of thing? And she was just like, no way. She completely believed in me. And she was just like, think of Tina. She literally said, think of Tina Turner. And she probably knew the song by then, but I didn't know the song by then. Um, so she just said, yeah, think of Tina Turner. She didn't even start till after 40. And, um, you know, so she was so encouraging with that. So, yeah, maybe there was something in it. All right, we know that um, people can make it big after being in a singing reality competition. Obviously, in America, you know, we have Kelly Clarkson, and James Arthur, um, and here in Australia, we've got our very own, of course, Guy Sebastian. Um, mm -hmm. Do you find some hope and solace in in that that people can have careers after um, sort of these singing reality competitions? Yes, and I think this day and age, like success can look like all different things. Like, to be honest, I was looking at comments last night and very briefly, cause I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to look at them. But um, <laughs> someone was just like, oh, why? if she wins, it's a waste because um, something about like, she's not going to release pop music. And I'm like, wow, that is such narrow thinking because success can look like so many different things this day and age. So um, I'm excited to like throw myself into everything and um, yeah, see what comes. But I think, Absolutely. yeah, I'm in great company. Absolutely. Tell me about the rapport you built with uh, Rita um, and, and that part of the journey on The Voice. Yeah, I think I connected with Rita um, woman to woman. I'm not sure if it's like that I'm older, but I, I didn't really want to like just treat her like you're a star and be so intimidated that I can't even talk because I used to be like that in my life. So I feel like um, I just, yeah, I saw her as as um, an incredible, hardworking, amazing businesswoman woman. <laughs> and um she, I think she really like um, warmed to that and she, yeah, we just connected um, and she was really, she's not um, intimidated herself by any other strong women. She's just, yeah, she was just really encouraging to me and um, yeah, we just got along really well. I don't know. We just clicked. It was amazing. Mm. And and of course, you did that great duet with her. Um, but speaking of those duets, you um, you always have to give some props uh, to the others as well. I mean, how good was that, Jason Derulo and Ethan, with that that uh, Lewis Cabaldi classic? Someone you loved must have been great to have the, a front row seat to um some big massive performances as well in the grand finale. You know what? I didn't get to see the performances um, when we recorded it, and so it was really oh. amazing to just sit and watch and yeah, enjoy my beautiful friends just smashing it with these. Yeah, it's just incredible. And I loved seeing Ezra's um, duet with Jess. That was just so beautiful. And Charlie and Guy, just the way that they like creatively put that together was insane. Mm. Yeah, your kids um, were there too, Archie and Quinn. They're, they're quite young, um, but, but how's yeah. the journey been for them? Are, are they your, your biggest fans or are they not quite understanding the enormity of, of all of this just yet? Yeah, they're definitely not understanding the enormity. Sometimes I used to say, Mummy's on TV and he's just, he doesn't care. But I think um, now they're a little bit older than when it was recorded as well. And Archie's nearly five. And he was trying to tell Quinny last night, um, Mummy's, Mummy wins, Mummy's winning. Um, so he kind of knows there's a competition and Mummy won something and that we might be able to go shopping. So that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was so cute on the show. Um, because yourself, uh, Ethan, uh, Ezra and, and Charlie were all great vocally, I think there might have been, and you mentioned this in the very first question, that's why I was asking about the reflection. It was that connection that got you over the line. You're a strong woman, a wife, a mother, chasing a dream um, with, with, with what some would see as obstacles, um, that never give up attitude, positivity. I think people either see themselves in you or want to see themselves in you. Do you understand that connection vibe? Have you, have you received um, like 
feedback from other people, even though you weren't sort of looking on the socials? Oh, I've been looking at the socials way too much. That's why I decided not to last night. But oh. I have, I have, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've loved, this is what warms my heart the most is like um, other people, mums or not, but there've been a few um, amazing mums who just like don't know me that messaged me that um, we're, we're talking about, yeah, I'm, I'm a mum too and thank you for inspiring me. And, um, you know, then I just started chatting to one mum and she was just talking about, breakups and I and I realized after like back and forth chat I don't actually know this woman but I'm just like I'm so sorry to hear and we're just having this big long chat so I just I love connecting with people and and encouraging people as I've said before so yeah it's been amazing and um I just yeah I just love that other mums are coming along the ride and connecting with that as well yeah all right second last question um and the big question is everyone wants to know what's next for Taryn Stokes I would like to know that too. Um, <laughs> I've woken up this morning and here I am, uh, the winner of The Voice. And so I think I would love to meet up. I can't wait to meet up with Universal Music. I think that's going to be the next step to to really talk and plan and create. And um, I want to release music. I also really want to like get into the Christmas season because I love singing Christmas carols. So um, if you'll find me somewhere singing, singing Christmas carols, I hope. Um, and then beyond that, I would love to re- release more music. Oh, wow. We're looking forward to it. I suppose we can keep checking the um, streaming platforms, seeing what's happening on Spotify and things like that. Look, yeah. um, I'm not going to ask you what, what you're going to do with the money. That's your business for your family. So I want to finish the interview. Oh, you with... can. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to do with 100 grand? Well, these are the things I was thinking about yesterday. Um, we couldn't pay our mortgage yet ne- next month. Like we would have been able to, but it was basically that was all that we've been working towards is paying mortgages. So I'm really like the the stress relief from our family oh, is like, wow. really important. And my husband's been doing the landscaping. And so we need, I need to get a landscaper so that our house because you know we've just moved into it um has a backyard for the kids so that's really important for me and then after that paying for music things oh beautiful that that is that is (laughs) nice all right so last question um and just a scenario um there's a girl sitting at home tonight um she was young once she had dreams aspirations and hopes um she knew who she was she then got married and had kids and the priority of having kids was her focus and her own journey her own dreams and perhaps her own individuality and identity had been suppressed and lost mm-hmm. she feels um her time is done e- even though there's something stirring within her what advice would you give her oh i would say um Basically, this is like talking to myself, isn't it? But I would say <laughs> just carve out a little bit of time for yourself and it's okay. Don't feel guilty um, because um, your kids are safe and they're okay. I think that was one of my big fears is like, are my kids safe? I've got to be with them 24-7. Mm. Um, and just take one small step each time towards, um, you know, fulfilling your own or well, filling your own bucket and fulfilling your own dreams and um, your kids are going to be okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Sharon, congratulations. Soak it in. Well deserved. Um, you, you obviously made a strong connection to the Australian public and um, have resonated in the hearts of so many. Appreciate your talent first and foremost, but thank you um, for the inspiration to so many as well. Looking forward to hearing what's next. Thank you for joining me here at TV Central once again. Thanks so much, Aaron. That was now superstar performer and winner of The Voice 2023, Taryn Stokes. You can watch the full season of The Voice on 7 Plus and you can jump onto the music streaming platforms to listen to Taryn's single, Nobody. Well, that's it for this podcast. For all the latest news, streaming platforms, uh, streaming reports, ratings, television guides and podcasts, head to tvcentral.com.au. For now, I'm Aaron Ryan. Thank you to the beautiful Taryn Stokes. Go, girl. Bye for now.